Have you been told your outlet has an open ground? That is an unsafe condition and you should do something about it. Open ground simply means that it's not connected. When you plug an appliance in, that third prong, that grounding prong is the safety feature. If your device was to short circuit, something gets electrocuted uh, in the box, this will help the power will return to the ground, safely disperse into the earth. You do not want to leave an open ground outlet. That's considered unsafe. I'm going to give you four options with open grounds. Option one, you could do nothing. However, I would not advise that. That is an unsafe condition. You are fooling people into thinking you have a safe grounded outlet when you don't. That ground prong is not connected to anything. Option two, replace it with a two prong outlet. Now, before you get to replace the outlet, of course, make sure to turn the power off. With the power off, you can pull back your outlet and you can double check back there if you have a ground wire. If your house was recently renovated or around 1960s, you actually might have a ground wire back there that is simply not connected, not connected to the ground screw. So you want to look for that or if it's a loose or poor connection, you will not get a ground reading on your tester. So check for that. But yes, option two would simply be to replace the outlet with an ungrounded outlet. So they actually still sell these. These two prong ungrounded outlets, you will need that to possibly pass a home inspection or a rental code certification inspection. You can't leave the deceiving ungrounded outlet in there. Now, of course, this is inconvenient. You're gonna to have to use cheater plugs like this to plug in three prong outlets. But that still can lack safety because you still really don't have a connection there unless you have a metal electrical box and the metal box is connected all the way back to your circuit panel and ground, then you still don't have a safe connection. So even though this is option two, it's probably not the best option, but in some cases I have seen it. Option three, rewire your house. You'll have to figure out a way to get a ground wire to each of your outlets that you need grounded. Now, if you look closely at a Romex wire, there's the black side, which is hot, the neutral side, which is white, and the ground, which is the bare copper wire. That bare copper wire is all you need to ground this. It has to go to the main panel box, grounding bus bar, which then goes to the earth ground rod. It is expensive and difficult, as you imagine, to run all new wiring throughout the house, but it is an option. You may want to reserve that option unless you're doing a total renovation or maybe you're removing old plaster and drywall to the studs. Option four, and the best option, the safest option, you're going to replace the ungrounded outlet with a modern GFI outlet. GFCI, ground fault circuit interrupter outlets, are easily purchased. I have a link in the description below, and um, they will meet all code certifications. You will pass rental department certification and your home inspection. Ground fault circuit interrupter outlets are safety devices that will still give you fault protection even without a provided ground. We're gonna show you how easy this is to install. Now, at your GFCI outlet, you'll have a sticker from the manufacturer. You can completely leave that sticker on. There's no reason to remove that. That's only for downstream protection if you're going to protect other outlets in your house. That's not required and it's actually less confusing and easier just to leave it on only protect the one outlet at a time. So with the power off, simply gonna remove the old outlet, strip off the insulation. This is size uh, 14 wire. You may have the thicker 12 gauge wire. Okay, now in the back of your GFI outlets, they're really well designed. You simply loosen up the screws. The gold screw will be the black wire. The silver screw will be the white wire. So it's color coded. Now you may have extra wires in the box going to other outlets. You are gonna want to include and attach that here. Otherwise your other outlets in the same room may not have power. So this is where you will put the other wires if you have additional wires to other outlets. On this one, it's the end of the line. We just have one outlet. And it is clearly labeled in the back. It says hot wire and white wire. Your hot wire is your black one. So it simply slides straight in. You don't have to hook the wire. If your old wire had a hook on it, go ahead and straighten it out. It goes right behind that pressure plate. All the way in. You don't want a lot of copper exposed. And tighten that on up. 
that's it. You can choose whether you want the ground prong facing down or facing up. That is not a code compliant thing. You can, you can put it any direction you want. Some people at this step do like to wrap the exposed wire terminals with electrical tape. That's up to you. It's not required. Kind of depends how snugly this uh, new GFCI outlet is fitting. If it's really tight in there and you're concerned that it's going to touch anything else, go ahead and do it. Okay, and then your new cover plate, sometimes it comes in the GFI kit, sometimes it does not. They are the rectangular shaped cover plate. Um, you're not going to use the old one. It's not going to fit. In the box for your GFI will also come all of the safety and installation instructions and the sticker kit. The reason you need a sticker kit is to, to make this outlet meet code compliant and to be able to pass future inspections, you actually do have to include and apply those stickers. So in this case, the correct sticker reads, no equipment ground. Even though we have a safety outlet here, we still have to label it as no equipment ground so everybody that looks at the three-prong outlet won't be deceived. By far, the four options, I think this is the best option, the most practical for most people. Putting a GFI safety outlet in your ungrounded uh, room outlets will provide extra protection for your family members and your loved ones. Hey, I bet you can do it yourself.